War. War never changes. Welcome, <laughs> ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, to your favorite weekly video game podcast, War Never Changes. I am your host, One Beer Jim, and I am five sheets to the wind, but I am joined by two very, very special people, one of which you know right up here, the man, the myth, the legend, 50 caliber, Phil McCracken Jr. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great, Jim. How are you? Am I slurring? Because I am trying really hard <laughs> to pronounce all the word. <laughs> I remember I think, my first beer. I think that's making it worse that you're trying to pronounce every single word. That's great. And over here, oh, over here, making a return appearance for the third week in a row, we like to call him, let's, I didn't write it down, let's see if I remember it, the Rootin' Tootin' Wheelin and dealing, loop, loop box stealing, dealin', Twitch streamer no. extraordinaire, two shot Willie. What's Willie. going on, guys? Well, you can't say no. I got my cheeks clapped last night, and I had to spectate you, and I watched you run around, <laughs> and you were sliding in, stealing Thank loop, you. left and fucking right. Thank dude. you. He left and right. Right. From who? He does his shit all the time. I how know. Many, how many? How many? How many houses do I go into? I pop the chest, and all of a sudden you come out of nowhere. At least, zombies. Oh, zombies! zombies fell is out, the worst. I glitched out on top of the the loot chest as it opened up magically. <laughs> Bro, I I can't say that I'm not just as guilty, but we're making fun of you right now. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's right. Uh, you got to take. Wait it in line. Here. Wait in line. Well, guys. Thank you so much for joining us all, everybody watching at home. Uh, we're recording on a Saturday because we didn't record yesterday because I don't know why or Thursday and probably good reasons. But we're all here. Some of us are more cognitive than others. <laughs> I'm going to let Phil do more of the talking today, I think. I had one beer, one beer, and it just... But... The show must go on. As you guys know, this is a weekly video game podcast where we're actually going to talk about some really cool things today because Phil, I don't know if it's a full fucking moon, Phil presented show notes that are insanely well written, better than anything I could have put together, sober or not. I am so excited to read these at as best I can verbatim. Um, we are going to start with a little thing we like to call subscribe to the channel. But after that, we're going to start with trash or treasure. And I think Phil has the first one today. Uh, Is that true? <laughs> That's, I was going to say, there's the first one. <laughs> treasure. <laughs> yeah, I've got some trash or treasure lined up. The first one is for Jim. And then Will will answer subsequently. Jim, air travel. Oh, trash. Despite the fact I work on flight trainers, despite the fact that I know how planes work and I feel like I could actually fly a commercial aircraft if I needed to, I am petrified of them and it will always be trash. Okay. Drunk Jim works for the government. And everyone, if you continue viewing, that means that you acknowledge that you've signed... And <laughs> a non-disclosure agreement in case he leaks any cover. Oh no, I'm not that bad. Oh my god, I am not that bad. <laughs> NDAs will be provided to everyone prior to no. <laughs> Get out of here. Prior to viewing, I must sign. No, trash or treasure. Uh, treasure and trash and how it works. Treasure and that you can go all over the country pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so Will. out of it. PSA's garbage. I'm so out of it. I thought you were way. asking Will just the question, trash or treasure, like truth or dare. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck kind of <laughs> game is this? Do you want the trash or the treasure? No idea what's going on. Will, Will, vaccines. No comment because we don't get. For oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Whether you say yes <laughs> or no. <laughs> Right. You can quote yep. the CDC and the WHO and still get in trouble. So, well, Jim, trash I'm going to leave that one alone. Oh, totally treasure. <laughs> Jim, trash or treasure, Paris, France. Trash. Never been there, never want to go. Thanks for the Statue cool. of Liberty, though. We appreciate it. Treasure and a lot of cool things there. Country. Oh, okay. uh, Sophisticated <laughs> Will over here. So. White flag already? They're already flown in the <laughs> Jesus. Will is now a 
a cheese eating surrender monkey. Will, Jim's stupid haircut. Trash or treasure? I liked it when it was all caveman bumish. <laughs> This is starting to look a little more presentable. I don't know if it's yeah, working as much. Dude, it's better. It's like now he's like going for some weird like Fabio really let himself go and lost a couple inches. He's getting all like done up sort of. It was better when it was just like all in his face. At least like then a, it was the, more respectable. The Johnny Depp like slicked back. There we go. There Thank you me. go. <laughs> much better. Jim, your stupid haircut. Trash or trash? Trash. <laughs> Jim, trash or treasure? Strange, inexplicable, dense. Treasure. Oh. Sorry, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, treasure. That dent brought I've, us all together I, for discussion to, and friendship. Obviously, I have to go trash on that one. Do we ever figure out? We don't know what happened. Poor Will. If I was like I can better prepared, I would have a picture of it. Do you have a picture you can hold yeah, your phone up? I do. Yeah, It would yeah, be so ghetto, good. but it's fine. <laughs> The best yeah, is when right. you take a picture of something and you're like, here's my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the picture. Ooh. No. So this is like a three inch. The that is so off. blurry as shit. And I'm already blurry as shit. So I can't imagine anyone can see that. I believe you. Just hold it like a, hold it like a foot away from the camera. This is the Perfect. worst. Perfect. This is so ghetto. <laughs> Dude, that, so that paint, the white part of the paint chipped off. off. That's like three inches. The dent is like an inch long. Someone took a pass load staple gun up to your truck, pushed it against your truck. That sucks. Fucking shot that sucks so bad. I, I almost thought it looked like a back of a small claw hammer and just a little thunk. Wow. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. Inexplicable. Haven't been anywhere but home and work and a couple of gas station stops. <clears throat> but anyway. Those are some good right, ones. I do have one trash or treasure and then I'm ready if Will has any and then we'll get into the show proper. Um, my trash or treasure, and it's for anyone, uh, doing a podcast not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> treasure. I mean, right. do you want to? Never mind. I guess I can't show. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> Hashtag guilty. All right. <sighs> All right. I got. I got. Oh, two. go ahead, please. I know. I know Jim's. I know Jim's answer on this one. So Phil, wireless peripherals. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, right, Jim? All of it's trash. All of it's trash, and they're worthless. If you're not wired yeah. in, you're not getting the crystal clear audio. I, I will give you the audio, but it's nice to be able to, when I need to go get a drink, I can still Yeah, talk when we get to listen, you take a piss around. when we're trying to play games. It's, it's brilliant. Oh, no. <laughs> That's this guy filling up. <laughs> I, I, didn't know your, uh, I didn't know your water dispenser in your fridge had a fucking plunger or <laughs> flusher mechanism next to it. <laughs> It does. When you turn off the filter, it's, <laughs> it's a reverse osmosis oh system. My god. So you got a reverse pump there, buddy. Oh my god. All right. Well, Dunkaroos. What'd you say? And Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. Trash oh, trash. Trash. <laughs> trash. I think I did everything trash today. <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think you. Do you remember your answers? No. <laughs> Phil's not even going to answer. Phil's done with the show. I don't even know if I've ever had a Dunkaroo. Never had a Dunkaroo? How old are you? 30. You're older than my wife. That's not my fault. I know. You should have had them. I had them. She she hasn't done anything creepy yet this show. We saw her in the pre-show walking around with an R2 skirt. R2-D2 skirt. You might see it making an appearance. Unless she's doing a costume change. I don't know. It's, every week it's getting more eloquent in, in the hazing of the show. Um, first and foremost, topic number one is what Phil wrote because I didn't prepare anything. But I do have some stuff to fill her. Phil writes, Ghost of Tashima is getting an expansion later this year. I did not know that. Is it enough to make Jim installed on the PS5 and head back to the island? Will, what do you think of this game? Will Phil fucking buy it now? <laughs> okay, Phil, I gotta defer to you. I did not know they were getting another expansion. I thought the multiplayer expansion that they released was it. You're saying there's another one? That, yeah, there's another one that's supposedly coming out later this year. Where did you find this at? I'm Googling it now. Just Google, just Google Ghost of Tsushima gaming expansion. 
Oh, wow. You're right. right. Look at Forbes. One day. See, I am so out of it. Look at this. Ghost of Tsushima single player DLC leaked. Will, you don't have a PlayStation at all, right? No. I think. Well, like a two. Or I think it's a That's two. good enough. Um, yeah. I thought that. You'll play this, right? They were going to bring it to PC. Because I know that PlayStation's <laughs> been kind of dabbling. Like, oh, Xbox is going to bring games to, to PC. Like, oh, we'll, we'll do it too. Um. I loved Ghost. I can't say enough good things about it. I don't remember. I always do like an official game of the year. I don't remember what I ever pick, but I would I could argue that Ghost was the game of the year last year. I know that probably Last of Us Two won all the official titles or the you know accolades, but what a good game! Like old school really samurai, cool. um, open world, stealth combat RPG, killer story, tons of side quests. A story that you care about that had an ending that was meaningful, that meant something. A real progression of the characters. Not just your character, but every character. Really, really well done. And I want to know, Phil, why haven't you played it? Because we moved on to the PS5 and then the gaming PC. Oh. Well, I think only now... On five? I mean on 4? Well, it came out on 4, and then it was enhanced for 4 Pro, and then it came out to 5. Shh. There she is. I want to see your skirt. <laughs> oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Phil, I think it runs at 60 frames a second on PlayStation 5 now. Okay. I'll have to go buy it now that it's discounted and has a bunch of added on content. Well, if you ever play, there's a, there's a multiplayer mode, but I let my friend Sid borrow it and I never got it back. So don't play the multiplayer without me because <laughs> I wanted to play it with somebody. And then like the day he's like, hey, can I borrow your your copy? And I'm like, sure. And then like the next day they announced it. And I was like, and I was on. I, he's still playing it. So I'm not going to like be mad about it. But Sid, I know you don't watch, but if you ever do, I want my fucking game back. Thank you. Give me my game. It's back. a good steelbook Gosh. edition. It's a good Phil. It's a really good game. Seriously. All kidding aside, you would like it because it's got a really good story. The combat's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like Grand Theft Auto in China or Japan or whatever. It's Samurai? Yeah. Is there a lot of stealth mechanics? Because I'm in the stealth. Yes, mechanics. you can play it either way. And there's a, that's actually a big part of the story is there's like basically multiple skill trees. You can sneak into a base and take everybody out really stealthily. Or you could do what I did and you just walk in and you do this thing called um, showdown mode. Where you basically pull out your sword and you just stand there like and wait. And people just fight you like one on one. Like a badass, they all like watch you fight. Oh, that's kind of dude. Cool. It's good. It looks pretty cool. I saw watch the trailer, a couple trailers real quick. It's really really fun, and it looks pretty too. So Phil is confirmed that he may buy it. It's not part of that PlayStation. Um, I don't think it's part of that PlayStation collection, is it? For PlayStation Five, I don't think it's one no, of the free games. No, otherwise I'd already have it. <sighs> well, it's worth it. I think it's still worth full price today. It's definitely. I don't think it does anything grandiose original design wise like it's an open world game that it's been done a bazillion times but the cool thing is the emphasis isn't on the map it's on environmental clues so like the way the wind blows you chase like foxes you look at like smoke in the horizon they want you to go explore the map based on visual clues rather than like skyrim like the quest is right here and i think it makes it a lot more fun when you find hidden things because you'll find a lot of really cool things well, your thoughts? Right, I know here. I think it looks really cool. I'd play it. Good talk. It looks like there's um, yeah, like the stealth. Jesus. Shut up. Hey, isn't it really annoying when you guys uh, prepare notes and then nobody comes prepared? Now Phil is again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Last last week we're gonna talk about two Apple press conferences. Too. Will, what did you think about the Xbox press conference? Yeah, I don't watch it. All right, well, thanks for watching everybody this week. Hey, I'll just... hey, hey. In my defense, uh, I didn't sleep Monday. And then I went from third to second to first. So it was like eight hours from Jesus. clocking out to clocking back in. Jesus. So I was trying to pick it up and my lunch break and everything else. And I missed it. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Breaking news, everyone. Not Will easy. is the only person in the United States of America that has a job. All right. Oh, well, Moving on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Who's the guy that gets to wait, uh, can play video games all day long while he's at work? Number two. CDPR, CD Projekt Red, confirms new Witcher game to be revealed at WitcherCon? I no, no new game. 
No new game. You wrote now new Witcher. And I'm tipsy. Uh, well, I, I tried to I put the W by mistake. No new Witcher. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. What the fuck were they expecting? Will and Jim <laughs> speculate on how far out the CP twenty seventy seven debacle must have pushed out the next Witcher's development cycle. Okay, I'll go first. That game is trash. It remains trash. And I'm talking about CD Projekt Red's uh, Cyberpunk 2077, of course. Um, this is irreplicable. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> Why do I choose big words? <laughs> it's done serious, irreversible damage to their... Irreparable? Yes. Is that what you're going to say? Irreparable I don't know. harm? <laughs> yes. It's so bad, it's like four words bad. Um, a gajillion bad. I don't see... Yes, I think the next Witcher will come out. People will be excited. Obviously, there are hardcore Witcher fans. You've got a lot of fans who got introduced from the Netflix show. This will hurt their company forever, and they would be nuts to release any game in the next five years. Especially if Cyberpunk remains as broken as it is still right now. I didn't even know they had a Witcher con. I was going to say, I didn't... I mean, there's cons for everything, though. Like... They got everything con. Where's Witcher con? Can we go? Where's Jim con? I want to go to that one. <laughs> it would be very boring. <laughs> <laughs> Witcher con is coming July 9th, and it is... Uh, is it online? So what do you do at Witcher con if you're not going to put out a new Witcher game? Dress up as Geralt of Rivera and walk around. It looks like it's only so. online. Looks like it starts in 13 days, zero hours, 10 minutes, and four seconds. Witcher Con will not air, but twice with both streams featuring unique, exclusive content that won't you won't want to miss. Is that a jar of pickles? It's a tiny jar of pickles. What does that have to do with Witcher Con? <laughs> why, why would you show is, that prop right now? <laughs> what does Witcher Con have to do with anything, man? Well, it's interesting because the cover of Witcher Con shows Geralt side by side with Henry Cavill. So they're like, they're standing back yeah. to back in like this weird paint drawing of them standing there. Okay, I'm a fan of just in general, I'll just say this. I'm a fan of conventions that are focused on a single topic because clearly if you don't care, you don't care. But if you're into it, you're into it. So I think that's cool that they're doing that. I just, I don't know how well a company who has destroyed their image so bad can keep dipping into the well of a game that people liked and say, hey, sorry, we really screwed the pooch on that other game, but the game we made before that was really good. Like, I feel like after a while, they've got to just kind of go away for a while and just reappear in five years when people have forgotten. Here's the thing. CDPR has no happy medium. They either make a beautiful game that works brilliantly and functions perfectly and is huge and expansive and immersive and is also fucking boring. Right. Well, they put together a really fun and exciting storyline with engaging and actually interesting characters and dynamic plot lines, and then the whole fucking thing destroys your computer. There's nothing. <laughs> your computer actually melts down. There's nothing in between. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Um, yeah, they're in a bad place because even if it's perfect, which we know there will be some issue, people are going to embellish the hell out of the fact that there's any issue. And like, here we go again. You know, any single yeah. the quest, the game could be a thousand hours long. And if two minutes of it is messed up, that's the two minutes you're going to see people highlighting online, talking about how bad the experience is. And here we go again. They were a one trick pony, just like we thought they were. They don't know how to make games, blah, 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 blah. Dude, halfway through the development cycle, IGN will post the article, Trouble on the Horizon for Witcher, <laughs> blah, 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 subtitle. Like, it will fucking happen. It will. I agree. Will, did you ever play any of the Witchers? Because I played the first two. I never really played the third, which is kind of backwards for most people. Uh, I think I played the first one a little bit, but I don't remember any of it. I didn't play it through. Okay. I know I didn't finish this it. Is Will that doesn't play video games. I know. So well, that's all the popular ones. Hey, I did start Resident Evil. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. I'm just not now. And Steam and how you hate. <laughs> Stupid price changes. Moving on, number three. Well, let me... Number three, Phil writes, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is now out on Nintendo Switch. That means it will just play like on the PS2. There's no question there, but I agree. <laughs> 
Are you going to even give it PS2 quality on the Switch? I think I wrote it a little bit funnier than that. I think I said, which is good because that means it'll be just like playing it on PS2. <laughs> quote, that means it will just be like playing it on PS2, unquote. Yes. I agree. Okay. I love Tony Hawk. I am glad that Neversoft finally was given the green light to make more Tony Hawk. I want there to be more Tony Hawk in my life. I don't know if we're ever going to get it because Activision and all the overseers, all they care about is Call of Duty. You had, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever get another one. I'm just glad that we got one good one as like a send off if this is it. It's just a remake of the old ones. That's fine if that's what they're going to do. I want more, but I don't know. <clears throat> The pictures look all right. Opinions on this video game, please. What's that? Nothing. Never mind. What'd you say? I didn't hear you. I was talking. I said, do you have an opinion on this video game, please? Yeah, I'd like to Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number she's... five. Let's see if we can find a topic that <laughs> Will like wants it. to I talk played, about. I played quite a bit of Tony Hawk on <laughs> on PlayStation. Wow, well. I think it was PlayStation 2. Or this one, is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> the I will say that I am grateful, yeah. Phil. We're doing it early in the day, and I have to give you credit because you're like alert and awake. I know a lot of times we do it at night, and you're kind of like tanking. So I appreciate your energy. If it was you yawning and Will going on, I would unplug my computer from the wall, text you guys, and say I lost power, and go upstairs and play PlayStation. <laughs> Number five. We're done with that one drink. Good guy Ubi is being a bastard. They removed the GoldenEye 007 maps from the Far Cry 5 game that some freckless virgin. Feckless. Feckless virgins. Feckless virgin spent hours making. There's a lot of shrapnel in there. There's a lot to unpack. Is this just a loss for feckless virgins? Or is MGM protecting its IP as a clue to the next GoldenEye game? All right. So this is an interesting topic, Phil, because I see this happen all the time. As somebody who plays PC games primarily, the modding culture absolutely is a key part of PC gaming. You can't really mod on PlayStation or Xbox or Switch. It just doesn't happen. Computer people find workarounds for everything, and they always do. Um, and I think it, I did read about this and I think it sucks because Far Cry 5 does have a really cool custom game engine. As you know, you played a lot of Far Cry 5 built into the game. There's a custom search engine that lets you go out and do fun things. Um, and it sucks that somebody put a lot of effort into a beloved game of GoldenEye 007 and Ubisoft is shutting it down. I think that really sucks. And I don't know why the likeness of a map is enough for them to step in when there are so many other blatant ripoffs. I'm not really sure why they drew the line in the sand here. Um, you may be right about MGM or whoever owns the rights to that now kind of flexing their muscle, but um, it sucks because finally you have something to talk about in Far Cry 5 and they take it away. <laughs> from, from something so long ago too. I mean, it's not like it's a new game that they're, right. they're Holy copying shit. over. Did Will just have an opinion on a game? <laughs> Shut up. Wow. <laughs> Let me put a timestamp there. Let's talk about GoldenEye. It's 007. I played the crap out of that one. Um, oh. I would, okay, so I I have not... I do not have Far Cry 5 installed on my, my computer. I haven't played it in a long time. Um, that said, the fact that people are still finding new ways to enjoy older content is cool. I just think it sucks that they would do this because it is just the likeness of a map. I mean, it's not like... I don't know. It's not like it's got any kind. No one's making money off this. Ubisoft isn't making money off this. They're not selling it. It's not featured on a website. It's just a stupid custom game it lost in a sea of thousands of other custom games. It's just one that gained a little bit of traction. And it just seems very odd that they would stand up and say, oh, you can't do that. Because there's there's clone ripoffs of Aliens and uh, Mario Kart and of other stuff in a lot of these modded games. And those are okay, apparently. But... A 20-year-old game about, you know, James Bond isn't. That just seems really stupid. Do you guys want to all buy Far Cry 5 and co-op it together? Can we do three-player co-op? I, don't I do have Far Cry 5 on my computer. I just don't have it installed. Um, that would be fun. You know, I've never played a Far Cry game co-op. I know, Phil, you and I planned on playing Far Cry 6 together on PlayStation 5. 
Um, yeah. Those games are definitely, I would see them being much more fun in a group because I checked out of the story of pretty much every Far Cry game. So if there's some big narrative going on and we're busy running around being idiots, I think that'd be more entertaining than anything they're telling me about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to play the game. You just want to shoot. To run around and be stupid. <laughs> I saw that too. That what? Leia? I think she was wearing like a robe or something. No, it was Princess Leia. <laughs> you just have like a costume closet. You guys, you guys see her. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back there. Yeah. There's a... Sh- so, She's actually I, I pre- actually providing more to the show in terms of video games than Will is. I believe that this is a reference to Battlefield 2. <laughs> or whatever, whatever that, that game was called. Battlefront, yeah. The Star Wars Battlefront 2, yeah. Battlefront um, I'll 2. say that the last thing I'll say about this GoldenEye game is, you know, there were there's been a dozen times where Xbox, who owns Rare, who made the rights to the old game, has could have struck when the iron was hot on making some sort of GoldenEye remaster or remake. And clearly they didn't either because they're idiots or because there's some weird licensing or copyright issue with the GoldenEye character or Pierce Brosnan's likeness or that whole franchise, which isn't that great of a franchise anyway, honestly. So the fact that they can't get it done tells me no one can. So I think we as fans of GoldenEye just have to accept that that ship has long sailed and we're never getting it back. Who's your favorite Bond? Pierce Brosnan. Solid choice. Is that the wrong the answer, Will? What? Hmm? Is, what? Who is yours? Uh, I like the older stuff. Sean Connery. That's Sean Connery would be my, probably my pick. We all agreed that the new guy is not the best, right? He's the worst. He's not the worst. Who's, he's not. Yeah, I don't know Daniel if I'd say Craig's not the worst. The first one the first? I saw with him, he went to his Casino Royale. Maybe that was the first one. I don't know. It's 2006. He totally yeah. butch- <laughs> butchers the mission. He gets poisoned. He almost dies. I'm like, this guy's an asshole. There's nothing. No, but that's part of the narrative. They want to show the gradual decline. Like, they're putting a human element to, like, this otherworldly agent who always gets the girl and always makes the mission. That's the movie. This is more- well, this is a more human, like, realistic... It's not super realistic. Nobody wants that. We're not going to the oh, movies yeah. to see our own pathetic lives. We want to be taken away to a fantasy world. <laughs> I want to you want to know a world in which the guy is on. fat, out of shape, and doesn't get the girl? It's called Jim fucking a fantasy <laughs> experience, okay? We don't need to see all that shit. I don't need to pay no $15 to see that. <laughs> I live it every Where's goddamn gym, day. Jim Simulator. <laughs> Where's gym the gym player? simulator? We're good boy, the can simulator. That, can we make that in VR? Can we make that in VR? Please? I'd love to go see a movie where a, where a fat guy's all sweaty and it hurts when he pees and he doesn't get the girl. I, that sounds like a great narrative. I give you the, the gym simulator VR, Well, It's Tijuana Flats <laughs> sitting on the couch and falling asleep randomly. <laughs> That's the gym simulator in VR. That's all it is. This is true. Hey, I... I'd play it. And, and a guy who wears a Halo guy. shirt, the same Halo shirt for a month, even if there's a stain on it, because it doesn't matter that much. And complains about the... Yes, <laughs> I like it. Very good. There you go. Now we all bonded. Now we're rolling. Topic number six. Insomniac Games has a live job posting for a PS5 multiplayer project. Speculate wildly. All right, so... Spy- what? Spider-Man. Yeah, I was gonna say it's got. Like, I'm trying to think. What is Insomniac that I was gonna look them up? I know they've done Spider-Man. I think they've done a lot of those. Like, um, let me find here. Insomniac Games. Here's a list of their games. Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Um, that's it. That's what they're like. Oh, Spyro. Like yeah. <laughs> Uh, Resistance, which is an ancient, ancient, ancient shooter. Uh, that was like their first, like third-person shooter. You know the one I would like to see, and I, I didn't. I wanted to make sure that they they did it before I said it was Sunset Overdrive. I love the hell out of Sunset Overdrive. I don't think anybody's ever played it. I'd say 99% of the people have no idea what it is. But it was an edgy game where you fought wave. It was almost like Fortnite before there was Fortnite. You fought waves and waves of these weird enemies in this weird futuristic world. It had a lot of grinding and rails and like momentum type things. Um, it was so much fun and then it just died. It was an Xbox exclusive right when the Xbox One came out with 
uh, with all the connect and all that crap that nobody cared about, and the game just died, and it was just a bad victim of bad timing. And it's so much fun, and it's just it is aged well. It's fun to play, and nobody cares about it, and nobody knows about it. So if I get a vote, bring back Sunset Overdrive, put it on PlayStation 5 where people actually see it, and I'm in. All in. Day one. Right off the bat. Okay. That, that's a hot take on Sunset Overdrive, largely. Uh, uh, wasn't that um, wasn't that one of the launch titles with the Xbox One? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It came out right when all that, like, right when the when the, when the Xbox One came out, everyone was crapping on the Xbox One because they it was like an underpowered machine. They were forcing everybody to play the Kinect. They had all that issue with it. It always had to be online. The company was in a bad place at the time. It's not the same Xbox as now. And they released that. It was almost like the first Titanfall in the sense that, like, I mean, thankfully, Titanfall got a sequel. But, like, a lot of those games just were sent out to die. And it's just, you know, these console exclusives on a failing console, it's like, there's nowhere to go. They don't see any sales, so they feel it's not worth an investment. Right. Yeah, no, I, that's, I've never met anyone who enjoyed Sunset Overdrive. So that that's cool to know that there is someone out there. One guy. Some, some, if you're if you're making yeah. the gym VR simulator, then I have to have a sun, sunset overdrive shirt on. I think that's only that's only a fitting narrative. A little little mini game where you can go in and play sunset <laughs> overdrive in gym VR. Poorly. <laughs> that's right. We'll that right after tummy time. <laughs> <laughs> Number tummy time seven, with, Phil. I gotta say. Question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just said, tummy time with who? That's the question. <laughs> Anyone. Number seven. EA acquires Playdemic for $1.4 billion? Why? Pandemic's most notable IP is a Facebook game called Golf Crash. I'm not joking. In a statement to the press, a Warner Brothers executive states, quote, our decision to divest is in the interest of developing games from our storied franchises. <laughs> And then Phil rakes a joke here. Buckle up. The Looney Tunes is going full RPG. <laughs> Why would EA buy a company that made a crappy golf game? Is it because they want more? They want. Here was the theory I had, because I did hear a little bit about this. Do you guys remember years ago when EA had a line called EA Big? Do you remember that? No. 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 It was EA Big, and it was like a subculture of EA games that were not meant to be taken seriously. Like NFL Blitz, NBA Jam, like a tennis game where like you hit the tennis ball and like it's a ball of fire instead of the ball. Like it was like cartoony sports action games. Um, when I heard this and I thought of a Facebook weird golf game, there's the first thing that came to mind is maybe they want to bring that franchise back because that would be cool as shit. Yeah, that would... uh. I, I don't know why else would you buy this. This is just a mobile app. This this gol uh, it's, golf golf crash. Yeah, so I mean, Facebook tried really hard to make a really cool um, like app where they had like a whole gaming system. They had streaming. They had they, Facebook really made a hard push for that, especially when they merged or bought out Oculus or whatever. But Facebook gaming never took off. So I feel like they're offloading companies. Maybe EA thought yeah. they were getting a deal here, and they're like, hey, look. We can buy a pretty solid IP, or maybe not an IP, but a, group, a very smart a group of you know developers. This is a steal. We got to make a jump on it. I don't know if 1.4 billion is a steal, but I mean, well, they have global tournaments, so that's probably why they got into it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm sure those are huge. Read down, Jim. Read the next part because that gives more insight. Ah, into it. number eight. EA's acquisitions since December of 2020. Codemasters, 1.2 billion. Those are the guys who made Dirt. Uh, Glue Mobile, I've never heard of, 2.1 billion. Metalhead Software, I've never heard of, 1 billion. And now this Playdemic. Total spending in seven months is $5.7 billion, mostly on mobile game developers. So, yeah, they may be right. I mean, if you guys remember last year during EA, or two years ago, um, E3 2019, EA announced a uh, mobile Command & Conquer game, which pissed everybody off. Because we all love Command & Conquer. We heard we were getting a new one. And it was a mobile variant. And it was like, oh, what the fuck is this? So, Like like Diablo did? Exactly, yeah. So that was around the same time as when Diablo released that other game. Or I don't know if they ever released it. I feel like, 
who's ever running these companies is clearly into the in this idea that mobile games is really where the future is going to be. Look at everybody's got a cell phone and clearly, you know, diehard gamers are just not biting. People aren't playing and none of my gamer friends are playing Call of Duty. None of the circles that are not Call of Duty, um, Command and Conquer. None of the websites I'm in, none of the, um, no one's talking about these games. So who is playing all these games? Clearly somebody, just not anybody I know. You're not playing PUBG Mobile every, every day? day. <laughs> I am. <laughs> that's what I mean, like, right? So like what, I mean, what, that's a good question, Phil. Like what, are they leveraging? They really want to build up this game industry. That's a mobile variant. And they say, hey, look, like, come to, come to us. We want your money. We want your microtransactions. Like, what the hell? I can well, see. Well, I, what you're saying is all your major gaming friends and gaming websites that you go to aren't doing the mobile stuff. But I can see the people that aren't like that jumping into games on their mobile. I know a lot of people that don't go home and play video games at all, but they'll have a ton of games on their phone that they sit there and play with or clash of clans clash of clans yeah i don't remember what it was yeah, supercell for clash a while there i was, is a big I was one. playing that like crazy yeah supercell so i don't know i mean maybe they're just trying to dip their toes into something else for the non professional gamers that are, are it, all into it. it it's interesting to see the market share that um mobile gaming as it emerges continues to take away from consoles and pc it's right now it's, it's very marginal but it has been growing steadily and there's not a whole lot of other big players that are investing into that marketplace so in a way ea could be saying hey we're going to secure ourselves as the major player or one of the major players in the future when this becomes a big market because if you look at that transaction the other bidder on that trend or one of those transactions i can i should say was take two interactive take two interactive was going to spend big money on one of those mobile gaming companies and ea came in and flexed their muscles and they outbid gotcha. them so okay. So it's anticipating some sort of a market shift and people are investing billions of dollars. And I mean, for, for one more studio acquisition, it would have been around the same price point as what Microsoft paid for fucking Bethesda. I was just going to so, say Bethesda. I would, if you were, would you rather have all these one-off weird companies or Bethesda? Like, you know, you have that kind of money to spend. Yeah. That's, I mean, I think most people would say that's a no brainer unless they really think there's some emerging market that I'm just not aware of. <laughs> That's the thing, man. It's either they're yeah. going to artificially create it and they're going to pressure all the right. other big studios into spending big money and, and making it and then just have a win-win for themselves or they're just going to bet big. And how many Bethesdas are there out there to acquire? Sure. Um, I think what pisses me off most is a, obviously a pretty, pretty hardcore lifelong gamer. I hate when they take franchises and they gut them and send them to mobile to die but they don't continue. If you want to make a duplicate Diablo game, which they really are now, they've announced Diablo 4, that's fine. But like, don't say like Command and Conquer, I'll pick on that one because we were talking about it. Command and Conquer really put real-time strategy, computer-based games on the map. Then it dies because they don't make any new ones. And then they bring it back only in mobile form. Like if you want to make a computer game and a mobile game, that's fine. But don't just take, don't make like Spider-Man 2 just on mobile. You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. put you here, like gamers put you here. We made you relevant. We want the next thing here. You want to do some crappy like spin off somewhere else? That's fine, but that's what drives me bananas, and that's what I worry about when I see this. Is I'm like, okay, what what major franchise is gonna go basically shit the bed by going to die in some knockoff throwaway mobile experience when everybody who's dying for the next game isn't gonna get it? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how mobile devices continue to evolve and become better and become more playable and more powerful to the point where, you know, we've got the Nintendo Switch that has basically the same amount of computing power as a PS3 in your hand that you can right. walk around with with the screen. It's going to be interesting to see how devices continue to adapt and how the big the big players in the industry continue to adapt to that. Because, if I, I mean, just take a look at the next three or four fiscal years for a lot of these big companies. They have multiple projects under development. Right. So where do they get the capital to start investing in those things? So we're not going to see, even if this shift happens, we're not going to see any big titles that are interesting or relevant to anyone for at least four or five years. I agree. Yeah, I mean, you have all those controllers, you know, people are, 
you know, you have VR for on your phone and all that. And even the games that can, you can get the little Bluetooth controllers and, you know, play in, you know, and it's obviously that's nothing like PC right now or True. PlayStation 5 or whatever. But I mean, how many years until your P, your phone is what well, you have, what I have on my desktop right and now? And honestly, yeah. with Game Pass now with their X Cloud and their streaming capabilities, you can play near 4K experiences on your phone. The processing's done at the Xbox headquarters server farm they just upgraded all those the xbox series x capability so if you have a decent internet connection it's not going to be perfect but if you don't have a console at all hey cool but i just see people would be more interested in that if anything than playing like some knockoff mobile game that just doesn't seem to keep people in invested but i don't know maybe you know for every person like me is die hard against this there's probably five or six whales out there who are like throwing money at Candy Crush every day because they want more turns or whatever. The, I don't know what you do in that yep. game. But you know what I mean? Like there's yep. clearly people out there who are throwing coin at it. I mean, I got to imagine EA didn't become one of the biggest game studios in the planet. You know, they're going to blow 5.7 billion. Like they clearly know something that we don't or they're really investing or hedging their bet on something else. Um, but no, that's an interesting story, Phil. I'm glad you brought that up. I, I'll be curious to see, but I, you know, EA Play is coming up at the end of the month. Will is already confirmed and not watching it, but you and I feel we're going to watch it together. <laughs> we're going to figure out, you know, I think that's, I want to say it's July 22nd. So it's coming up soon. It'd be very interesting okay. if they dedicate like a 10 minute block to the future of mobile games. And then we'll be like, Hey, Phil was there. Baby. Watch party. If they could get like a highly detailed fun version of Madden football mobile, I think that they could have a serious cash cow on their hands. Well, and you you talk about yeah the cash cows. I mean, I, that's uh, Clash Royale. When I was playing that, I mean, you think about it. You spend sixty bucks on a you know about sixty eighty bucks now on a triple A game, brand new game. I knew guys that had dumped hundreds of dollars into the stupid mobile game. It's like you spend five dollars here and twenty dollars there, and yeah, that guy he built that Golden Eye map. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Palmer do that? Didn't Palmer blow a bunch of dough on Clash of Clans? I don't know. We were playing Clash Royale for a while. I don't know if he played Clash of Clans, but I feel like because we were all playing you... and he had a huge base, and I'm like, "There's no way your base is like ten times bigger than mine." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh yeah," and I think he's threw some money because you could just buy like little, you either mine the little wood yourself or you press the gold. You know, you buy the crystal and the crystal does it for you. And I'm like, "How you getting your base that fast?" So he's like, "I play a lot." I'm like, "Do you though?" <laughs> <laughs> like those transactions are the way of the future, man. Yeah. Somewhere out there, you don't... there is my base. I think getting raided daily, <laughs> <laughs> plunder and mod loot. There anymore? I haven't logged it. There's like one post left. Yeah, I know. I haven't logged into that shit in gyms. years. Because you would build up just when you were about saved up enough currency to do something, upgrade your queen or your. I don't remember what all the currencies were. Whenever you're ready to do something big, you'd get hit by like some guy whose screen name was like all like foreign characters, and he had like the finger of God, the army, and I was like, "There's nothing I could do," and you just watch them steal everything you have, and you're like, "Well, that was fun." That would drive me nuts. It did. I didn't that's, play that's that what one. Made me break. That's what broke my titty bang. Sixty-nine has rated you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, the one thing I want to Phil, first of all, I want to give you a round of applause, the seal of approval for putting together notes. That was great because without you, probably about 43 minutes and 15 seconds ago, I would have hit stop recording. Um, so we powered through the one thing I wanted to bring up to both of you guys. And I've already said this a thousand times is we need to play Halo together. We really do. It's on Game Pass. There's no reason not to play this game together, especially with the custom game browser. There's some really funny, stupid custom games that I think we would have a blast playing. I've got Mario Kart. All updated. I thought we were going to play, so I went and updated it yesterday. We should. We need to. Well, we didn't play yesterday, and that was okay. But I'm just saying that there's going to be times when we just have to say, listen, we are going to play. We need to dedicate an hour. There are some stupid stupidly funny custom games that it's totally mindless it's you're not gonna you don't, don't ex i mean some of them are glitchy and janky and that's part of the fun but um that's my psa on how good halo is right now because it's just season seven just absolutely destroys it we should definitely play uh after this yeah. is over do you guys want to go play zombies <laughs> uh... damn <laughs> 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 I love it. 
I totally <laughs> agree with you. Let's play Warzone. Um, actually, the last thing I have, and then Will, I'll kick it over to you. We have, I've noticed a recent trend, mostly from this guy right here, and I'm pointing to one Mr. Phil himself, who has kind of sort of unretired from Warzone. Like, are you back? Like, what? No, it's just what you guys have wanted to play. If you, dude, I'm more interested in going on and playing Cold War, that uh, ground war that you keep talking about with like the 50 versus 50 or whatever. I want to check that out. Time out. I don't know. It's one of you two clowns. I don't know which one it was. One of you two told me last night, hey, who wants to, we're going to play Warzone. And I go, well, you know, we should really play is the new Cold War map with blah, blah, blah. And both of you guys said, okay. And then we played Warzone. No. So here's what happened. You left to go get a drink and said, you guys decide what we're going to play. Kevin said he's going to work on his mortars. Out of context, it sounds terrible, but don't worry, it's just fireworks. And then Matt and Will talked about something, and then one of those two suggested Warzone. Will suggested, didn't suggest, he said, are we going to play Warzone? Matt said, sure, I'm fine with whatever, and I didn't say a fucking word. And then you came back, and you're like, what are we doing? And someone said Warzone, and you're like, okay, why don't we do this other thing? And then there was a long pause, and then we played Warzone. So, so I don't really think, I don't think anyone really insisted on it. It literally just happened. Phil, I've known you now for like a year. <laughs> you know better than I do, like 16 months, whatever. The, you are many things. Quiet is not one of them. So if you are no, not I, happy about something, cool. you I would speak up. Shut. This is what I did. You, when you were like, you guys decide what you want to play. This is what I did. I fucking muted my Boo. microphone. Why don't you speak up and say, listen, I demand we play this. Because I didn't want to be rude to Kevin because he's almost never on, and I wanted him to say what he wanted to play. And then when he's like, I'm out, someone said Warzone. Will, what's your side of this twisted tale? <laughs> Did I misrepresent this in any way, shape, or form, Will? Uh, I said that's pretty much how it went. I think it was just everybody kept kind of coming in and out and... I thought someone said Warzone. I opened up Warzone, and then someone's in game. So then everybody starts following that over, and it kind of just conglomerate over there. All right, so we'll switch Warzone. off Warzone, and we'll go to Halo or the um, Black Ops Battle uh, Battle Royale. What's it called? It's yeah, Battle. it's Cold War. Uh, I think it's called Fire Cold War. Fire Team or something. Fire, Fire Raid or something. Do you guys want to go play this, some of that right now? Do you want to go play some Halo? I want to know go? why we don't play Keep Talking, No One Explodes anymore. I don't know what that is. Will? We were gonna why we were gonna play it last night and then we I think we were waiting <laughs> to see if Kevin was gonna be done. I, one of you Remember, listen Matt was talking about It's not it. me. One of you two is secretly in love with Warzone pushing the narrative, and there is a mystery and we will solve it. It might not be today. But one of you two keeps driving me towards Warzone. We're all listen, time out. And then and then you can say whatever you want. We're all talking, BSing, Matt and I are laughing, we're having fun, we're talking about all funny things. Then Warzone starts, nobody's talking, and everybody's pissed. No oh, shoot that guy. He hacks. That, oh, you can shoot me through a wall was... no Yeah, bitch, they've been shooting through a wall for three fucking years. <laughs> That, that first game was horrible, but we did have some good games after that. Every subsequent Build. game was good after that. Yeah. We all had more than three or four kills each, which sound was, you're all probably, all nine of you were probably laughing all three yeah. or four kills per person. That's a lot for it us. It is. <laughs> we left our mark. Uh, Phil pulling off the, the most wanted for, what, twice? You switched out trucks Pretty twice? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay alive. Maybe... We had some good firefights. That was that was fun last so night. So maybe Phil's pushing yeah. the narrative because he wants these hero moments. No, 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 no. no. Let's not. I think, play I think we solved it. The record is saying I'm officially re-retired from Warzone until the next update, and we're gonna go do something else. We'll see. <laughs> the jury is out. <laughs> <laughs> Jim gets to have this, like, predisposed, like, uh, get to sit up on my fucking high horse because he refuses to make the decision. He just wants to sit back yes, and put that's, you, He watches, he, he lights the little match and throws you're it all my, You're yeah. all my little people. 
<laughs> dance for me. It doesn't matter what we pick. He's going to be like, oh, that fucking sucks. Oh, that sucks. I, as, and when we go to play a game, I go through the exact... This is what we did last night, at Phil, after you signed out. I said, guys, here is a list of games that I have installed. And I read them all, and then I was quiet. And then I let the census... We ended up playing Rocket League and had a blast. Um, cause Will's really good at Rocket League, it turns out, which is awesome. It's great for me cause I don't have to even like play. I mean, I'll, the only thing I have to do, I'm just better than you guys. Here's what I have to do. <laughs> the only thing I have to do in Rocket League is make really lame attempts to win. Will can carry the whole team. All I have to, and I get a lot of wins. I get experience. I get all the unlocks. Great. The only thing I have to put up with is him belittling me maybe twice a match, which isn't bad. I could deal with that. He's like, oh, that's a dumb play. How, how, many times am I, how many times am I coming up to the ball and Jimmy's right here on my ass? It's like, Flying V, right baby. Here, and then you go, boom, and hit me out of the way. Hey. <laughs> Actually, I think it was Matt. The Flying V work. works. It's 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 punches and bunches, baby. We're all in. It's, it's, Let's all get that ball. Dude, I, that game is hilarious, and it's fun to play, but I can't even keep track of where the ball Same. is. And you guys are just, like, up in the air doing cartwheels and shit. I don't know what the hell's Same. going on. Yes, I'm with you. I will. The, when will will there will be a ball that's like a, a car length above my car, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> and here comes Will, like back flipping, like bouncing off walls, and he's like, he scores a goal. I'm like, how how did that even happen? You think I'm good? You should see some of these guys that are better. They'll just sit there and run it in the air the whole time, flipping it. Nope. They'll go up and touch the ceiling so they can reset their jumps and. Nope, nobody cares about them. We're talking about you. We Good. had our first rivalry last night with the DBDG clan facing off against some other clan. And they were talking crap to us. They beat us the first game, and they were talking some serious crap to us. Um, and then we ended up beating them three or four times in a row so badly that they all quit mid-match. And then the fireworks <laughs> went off. Matt's soundboard's going off playing the Final Fantasy fanfare. We're laughing, confetti's falling from the sky. It was like a brilliant moment. Um, so there's fun to be had there. I feel like I don't have a lot of fun in Warzone, even when we do well, unless we win, which has been a minute for me. Maybe you guys have won more than I have. It's very infrequent. I usually end every Warzone match either disappointed or frustrated. But Rocket League, man, it's like a perfect five minute blast. Trash talk, open mics, let's go, baby, and then we're on to the next adventure. And I think that is where, that's why I like that kind. Of, I think that's more of my speed. Yeah, for sure. We've been having a lot of fun, Rock League. We need. It's one of my favorites. Just so for that, more first-person shooters. Just, just Rocket League from now on. No, in Halo. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got playing. And so don't, don't lose the Halo. Well, no. It, it's just, and I've said this before about Rocket League. I have said that I feel like Rocket League, I could take, or not Rocket League. I've said this before about Warzone, that I could totally take a break. And I'm like, I am done with Warzone. And then two days later, they release John Rambo and John McClane. And I'm like, all right, I'm back in. Suck you back And then in. I'm like, when the event's over, I'm done. And I'm not done, but I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just... And then the new season I know, comes and, out. And, you're and back now I'm all back in again. again. But I, yeah, I, I could totally be down for like other games i mean among us was a ton of fun we had a ton of fun to keep talking we have not played left for dead in forever that was fun when you have people versus zombies that's always a blast um any of the starcraft yeah i don't know there's just so many good games out there that i feel like even sea of thieves we you know we started um you know the new contents out although it's bugged we can't really play right now but um even just playing sea of thieves not doing the new stuff just sailing around being assholes is it's fun so I'm just saying a plea to the two of you with your larger-than-life personalities. Feel free to drive the narrative in a direction. Say, no, we are going to play right. blank. Let's, let's, take, let's retire Warzone then for a while. If we, I guarantee you the next game we play will be fucking Warzone. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, it won't be the next one. Will, go into your computer and uninstall it. Oh, big, he won't do it. Oh, no man. way. Commit. He won't do it. <laughs> come in. Come I'll in. do it. You guys He'll do, do it, it only for like a brief second and then immediately install and cry. And like, I hope they don't want to play now. <laughs> I can't get off the internet, it. everyone. I got to get more bandwidth. <laughs> He's just going to be staring at his phone as the little percentage bar is like two hours till remaining. I hope they don't text me now. 
It only, Dude, it's only a, a 250 gig oh game, my God, you know? Massive. Yeah, I was going to say, I have a one terabyte Western Digital Black fucking SSD, and like 90% of it's taken up by a war zone. Yeah. What a game. <laughs> That's that love hate relationship. It's something. Well, gents, it's been real. Will, is there anything you want to say in closing, and then I'll pass it over to uh, the man, the myth, for final words? Anything you want to say? <laughs> Uh, I think someone's got something to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me of back. Course. Even though I don't bring anything to the show. Well, as with every week, <laughs> I miss all the ether. As with every week, your ones. probation continues. I, I I watch the E3s, but only the ones where they're playing Mario Party. For I, an hour <laughs> talking to some guy about some stupid game that you can customize your character and how cool that is because you can't do that in any other the game. The fact that Phil stepped it up and wrote these amazing notes for the first time in over a year, I feel like Will really jeopardizes your position. I really feel like clearly I'm at the top of the mountain. I am untouchable. I wrote some. Clearly, I'm at the top of the mountain. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm the tech guy. I'm I'm clearly I'm not going anywhere. But you do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm on probation, but he says you. <laughs> bro, bro, fuck this place. I'm leaving, and I'm taking the overseer with me. Fuck you both. <laughs>